six, nine, Today, we're going to review the Bamboo Labs A1. This printer has bigger build plate, bigger screen, dual Z axis, and the AC cord is exchangeable. This all is in comparison with its little brother. We reviewed its little brother, aka A1 Mini, and we loved it. Printed lots of fun stuff with it and had a low fail ratio. A1 Mini came out of the test as a very fast, feisty, but cute bed slinger. So, how does its bigger brother A1 perform? Is it just bigger or is it better as well? Let's find out. This video is sponsored by PCBWay.com the world's go-to supplier for premium custom circuit boards. Tell us what you need, then let us design and manufacture your PCBs to the highest level. Low print runs and 24-hour turnarounds with assembly starting from just $5. Get an instant quote and join our online community at PCBWay.com. The A1, as mentioned before, has a bigger print area, which is 256 times 3. That is the same build area as the X1 Carbon and the P1P series, which is what I happen to find big enough for printing most of the print models. As you can see, Bamboo Lab has shared this design of the top mount mod for the AMS Lite. I downloaded it from Maker World and printed it in 20 hours. It came out pretty well. Installation took about 20 minutes. If you're planning on getting one of the A1 series, I would like to recommend to get the combo variant which includes the AMS Lite. Without the AMS Lite, the A1 series is almost like any other bed slinger that came out around the same time. AMS Lite is a very strong selling point for the A1 series in my opinion. The price of the A1 is $399 US dollars and $559 US dollars for the combo. That is a very attractive price for this caliper of printer. But don't get all excited just yet guys. I have a strong feeling that Bamboo Lab had to cut some corners to be able to get the printer to that price point. What I found out is that the bearings in the linear rails for the x-axis aren't the best quality on the market. Let me explain. After putting the A1 together, you need to do the initial setup. There, the printer checks its calibration and motor noise cancellation. That is where I started to get very frustrated. The A1 was much louder than the A1 Mini. Annoyingly louder at times. Since we built the Rook 2020 scalable Core XY printer, I am familiar with the linear rails, thus we used them on all the axes. We did have one linear rail that was significantly louder than the rest. The seller from AliExpress did exchange this for us and we received a replacement. So, we contacted the Bamboo Lab after sales to report this problem we're having with the x-axis of the A1 and sent them the video evidence of it. After one day we got a reply, basically they said the noise levels I'm experiencing were normal and it was all in the margin of acceptable range. Long story short guys, we will need to fix this issue ourselves. And we will. Stay tuned for that video where I fix the x-axis linear rail noise issue. Thank you guys for watching this Bamboo Lab A1 review and I hope you liked it. I hope it was informative. If you want to order one yourself, you can use the links in the description below. Then you can be a proud owner of this A1. Have a nice one. Bye.